How many holes does a human body have? Have you ever wondered how many holes a human body has? Did you start counting already? Well, don't break a sweat, because in this video, we will give you the answer to this question. Welcome to Curiosity TV, the place where you'll find answers for so many of your questions, curiosity addicts. We hope you like this new video we've created especially for you. We know how it feels to need your curiosity satisfied about something. So that's exactly why we're here. So buckle up, for this is a whole new exciting topic for today that will leave you questioning all your answers. Wait till you find out about the exact number of holes we have and how what you thought was a hole is not even a hole. That's a whole lot to take in. When you first read the title, you probably started counting your eyes, your nostrils, your ears, your genitals. But did you count your pores? Your sweat ducts? your hair follicles. We humans are quite puzzled with counting our body's holes. How many do we have is actually an interesting riddling question that we will answer in this video. Counting the holes in your body is actually more challenging than you think. Here's an experiment that shows you how sponge-like our bodies actually are. If you cut a clove of garlic and you rub it on the back of your foot, in around 15 minutes, you will start to taste it in your mouth. Sounds fascinating, but hard to believe, right? Well, it is believable, and the explanation is very fascinating. The molecules of the garlic, called allicin, are very small and water-like, so much that they can find their way through your skin and into the bloodstream, all the way to your mouth and nose. It's incredible, right? If you think this sounds puzzling, wait until we get to the part where we tell you what are the parts that we actually call holes and how many of these there are. Did you know that there are things that pass through your body and you don't even know it? In any second of the day, billions of solar neutrinos actually pass through you. The sun is the source of these neutrinos that travel through your thumbnail. But don't worry, these neutrinos are close to being nothing at all. They have no electric charge and move at almost the velocity of light. So every second around 100 billion ghostly solar neutrinos go through the entire Earth before they finally reach the tip of your toe. Of course, you would never notice that. It's as if we have this magnetic superpower and we just need to channel it. Now, you're probably thinking why such an experiment is relevant. Why are we speaking of things that are flying into your body through its holes now? What we're trying to say here is that things can fly into your pores, but won't be able to make a full trip. This shows that not all holes are equal, because holes should typically allow a complete penetration all the way to the other end, right? But when it comes to pores, what might penetrate your body through your mouth all the way to your other end can't possibly make it out through your pores. Now that brings us to the next big idea, the difference between a through hole and a blind one. Yes, there are different types of holes, and it's quite important to understand the difference between them if we want the answer to today's question. The through holes in our bodies allow for a complete penetration of something, whereas pores, hair follicles, ears, sinuses, and nipples are blind holes. This means that these holes can be entered, but eventually will block the way out, reaching a dead end. Think of just your hair for now. The density of openings associated with hair follicles differs big time from one person to another. Depending on their corporal landscape, some follicles produce thicker terminal hair, while others sprout finer vellus hair. This means that the follicles aren't always that easy to penetrate. Now let's look at the sinuses. They are holes that can allow for things to enter, but the only way out is the same way you entered. And then there's always your ear. Things entering through the hole will eventually be blocked by your eardrum. Now let's try and count together the blind holes in our bodies, shall we? That is all of our pores and hair follicles. Does it sound impossible for you to count the blind holes that we have on our bodies? Well, of course it is. We have millions of blind holes, at least five million. But then again, are they really considered holes? And what are holes anyways? How do we define one? Do they even exist? We told you the best part isn't over yet. Let's look at a donut. The hole in this donut wouldn't have really existed without the existence of the donut itself. Now let's eat the donut. Does eating the donut mean we ate the hole? And if we did, does this mean we now have a hole inside of us? Pretty confusing, don't you think? Luckily, there's an explanation to this, and it's through topology. 
Topology is a branch of mathematics that can help us better understand holes because it is concerned with the properties of a geometric object that are preserved under continuous deformations such as stretching, twisting, crumpling, and bending. Topology also describes mathematical spaces, in particular the properties that stem from a space's shape. So in other words, topology is about objects that preserve its form as long as they're not torn. And even if they're torn, as long as they can be glued back together, that's fine. To simplify this, here is an example. Topologists are known as the people who can't tell the difference between a mug and a donut. It's a widely common joke. Why? Because a mug can indeed be deformed into a donut, and that is what the study of topology explains. It explains how a shape can be deformed completely to another without losing its core properties. You can try it out yourself. If both are made out of rubber and you twist and stretch the mug, it will take the shape of a donut without losing its essence. According to topologists, the objects that are able to change their form without really losing their characteristics are known as homeomorphisms. And since the mug and donut are both homeomorphisms, that means they have the same through hole which they in fact do. And that, curiosity addicts, explains why there is a huge difference between a through hole and a blind one, and why we're counting them separately. Because while a blind hole can be erased during the process of deformation, the through holes in our bodies can be clearly defined. To answer the question, there are eight external openings that include the mouth, anus, left and right nostril, lower left, upper left, lower right and upper right lacrimal punctum, these lacrimal punctums exist on each of your eyelids. They're very tiny holes from which tears flow, and which constantly moisturize and protect your eyes. It being a through hole explains why sometimes when you cry yourself to sleep, you get a sniffly nose. But openings are not holes, even though they are connected to holes. However, using homeomorphisms, we can still count these as holes. At a scale of 60 microns, it turns out that our body has seven through holes. Unless, of course, you have some piercings, because those count too. So, curiosity addicts, let's do a quick recap on what we have learned from today's video. At the beginning of the video, we asked what seemed like a simple question. How many holes do our bodies have? First thing you learned was that the answer to this question is much more complicated than you think. Which got us to start by explaining the millions of blind holes that our body has, from pores and hair follicles to our sinuses and more. We also explained how some of these holes are connected, which is why if you rub a clove of garlic on your foot, you will be able to taste it after about 15 minutes. That wasn't the coolest part, remember? The cool part is that just like the molecules of the clove can travel through your body's pores, billions of solar neutrinos actually pass through you from your thumbnail. Just when you thought nothing cool ever happens, it turns out it happens every day. With that being said, we went on to explain the difference between a through hole and a blind one, and how that the main difference is that a through one allows a full penetration, meanwhile the blind one has a dead end. To further explain this, we talked about the hole itself, questioned its existence and then explained the science of topology, what homeomorphisms mean, and how they can help us indicate the number of holes that our bodies have. We also threw in a typology joke of how topologists wouldn't know the difference between a cup and a donut. Turns out, they do have a point. Last but certainly not least, we counted together the eight external openings of our bodies, the mouth, anus, left and right nostril, lower left, upper left, lower right and upper right lacrimal punctum. This brought us to our final conclusion, which is that our body has seven through holes and countless blind ones. Last thing to keep in mind is, your piercings count too, especially if they go through a hole. Then, they even count as two more holes. So, did we really answer the question of today's video? Well, we did cover most of the holes that our bodies have, and reach the conclusion that we have millions of blind ones and seven through holes at birth. But to really count the holes each of our bodies have is almost impossible, and there wouldn't really be a clear answer that applies to all of us. All we can do is define holes and understand them quite well. Thank you, Curiosity Addicts, for tuning in and watching our video. If you found it interesting, make sure to subscribe to our channel, Curiosity TV, and turn on the notification bell for more mind-blowing topics that are yet to come your way. As always, your feedback and comments are much appreciated and anticipated. 
So hit us with whatever it is that's going on in your curious head and share with us your own interpretation of the topic. Leave a comment saying what was the number you initially guessed before getting an answer from us. Until next time in the next ride, stay safe, curiosity addicts.